All right, Gary right, Austin, uh, we do have David Brandon, the University the of Michigan athletic director on the line. Brady Hoke, the new coach, will be joining us in just a minute. Congratulations, Mr. Brandon. How are you? I'm great. Good morning, Michael. Did you, in fact, sleep more than three hours last night? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Slept like a baby, happy with your choice, and happy that all is well in the, uh, in the University of Michigan world, right? You bet. We have a lot of work to do, no question about it, but I'm, I'm really blessed and happy to Brady Hoke take over with this program and lead it to the level of success we all want. Were you able to stay awake till the end of the basketball game yesterday, though? Oh, Brady and I sat uh, courtside and watched the entire game, and it was exciting, and I felt so bad for our kids. They played two nationally ranked teams, two, I think, undefeated nationally ranked teams in the last week, and took one into overtime and took one down to really a one-possession game, and yeah. they played very hard, and I, I really... I think John's doing a great job with this young team, and they're getting better and better, and good things lie ahead for Michigan basketball. That was good stuff, to be sure. Um, during the press conference yesterday, you, you talked about how some members of the media basically, uh, I think you used the word possibly sabotage or derail the process. What did you mean by that? Uh, the no, process I didn't of say that. Going. I said they attempted to. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't think they did at all, but uh, what I meant by that was that if you want to conduct a search process and talk to all the candidates that you want to talk to, many of them are going to be sitting coaches actively involved in mm -hmm. current jobs at, at other schools. And many of them, most of them, would be very reticent to sit down and talk to you if it's going to be a, a matter of public discussion. In sure. In any cases, it could jeopardize their current employment. Mm -hmm. So normally when you're doing a, a search, a national search, you move around and you have very confidential private meetings with these individuals give them that comfort that you can have a conversation without it becoming a matter of public record. And all I said was that that portion of the search was made very difficult yeah. because of what kind of seemed to me to be like a circus-like atmosphere of, of sports media and people trying to figure out where I was and who I was talking to and report on it. And that made it a little bit more complex, and that was all the, all the point that I was making yesterday. You know, we've seen two incidents of that this year uh, in the state of Michigan. When Tom Izzo was considering the Cleveland job, I mean, he had people stalking him, staking him out, calling his house, uh, camping outside his office, the same thing. And it's, it's, it's all silly, but I'm glad it's uh, settled now. And we do have the new coach of the Michigan Wolverines, Brady Hoke, on the line with us as well. Congratulations, Coach. Coach Hoke, are right you there? there. Uh, we lost the line. We'll reconnect with him anyway. David Brandon, you joked a little bit about going around in camouflage. You didn't have to put a, a disguise on, did you? <laughs> no. No, but I snuck in the back of a few hotels, and I uh, <laughs> and we, we, had to, we had to use some decoys and diversionary tactics to try to put me in a position where I could, where I could achieve my goal. It was a little silly, but we got it done. You know, it was great to see uh, so many Wolverines in the back of the room there yesterday at the press conference, Wolverine players, Wolverine coaches. And for me, it was really nice to see uh, Gary Moeller. What's he up to these days? Oh, Gary uh, has been uh, involved in around the athletic department for a period of time. He, he shows up for football practices from time to time, and he, he stays connected with the student athletes and he's he's earned the right as as a championship level coach at the university of michigan not to mention all the years that he was an assistant for Bo, and he was my position coach going back to when i played at michigan oh, gary right. moeller is a tremendous michigan man and we're so proud of him and we're glad to have him connected with the program and he was there supporting brady yesterday gary is actually the guy that hired brady hoke to come in and serve for eight years as a position coach at the university so you see that it all comes full circle, and now we have, uh, obviously, a man with deep, deep, deep Michigan roots. And this is a silly question, too, but, I mean, obviously we all want success, nobody more than you probably, quickly. And, uh, you know, there will be a period here where it's going to be tough to win the Big Ten championship because we now we have two divisions and a Big Ten championship game. It's probably tougher than ever. And Brady Hoke, I think, is reconnected with us now. Congratulations, Coach. Hey, thank you, Michael, and uh, I apologize for that. You know, you're, I'm learning a new phone system also. Well, heck, everything's changed at the <laughs> University of Michigan since you've been there. They jazzed the joint up, haven't they? Well, you know what? Uh, it's uh, great to be here. We're so excited, and uh, 
uh, you know, this is such a great university and such a great program that uh, we're excited to get it started. You know, you and I have been in the same room together once. You may not know this, but we were. It, it, it was the Rose Bowl at the national championship game when you got that beautiful ring on that day you beat Washington State when the sun was setting there over the mountains. And I stood in that stadium, and I was there as a fan, not a journalist. And I just, uh, I, you know, I just, I virtually wept because there were no more worlds to conquer at the moment. A perfect season. Lloyd Carr, who's always been very dear to me, the national championship. And you're going to make that happen again, aren't you? Well, you know what, we're, we're, we're so uh, humbled and privileged to, to be here and, and uh, uh, to be part of Michigan and, and Michigan football, and uh, we have high expectations like we should, and uh, we have high goals, so we've, we've got some work to do, obviously, and uh, uh, we're, we're heading in the right direction, and uh, the kids here have been very receptive, and, and it's, it's been a great start, but uh, we've got a long way to go. When you meet the team like you did yesterday, for the first time, do you come on strong as the leader, or do you are you friendly and you say hello and meet everyone? How does it go? Well, you know, I think you know the the relationships you build with people are so important to any successful football team, organization, uh, or whatever. And and you know, I'm going to be who I am. You know, I, I'm. Uh, uh, an old linebacker who has that mentality and uh, how we're going to attack each day and the aggression that we're going to do things with, when uh, whether it's going and competing in the classroom or uh, what we're doing in the weight room or in the winter conditioning or uh, out on the field. So, you know, it's pretty much straightforward that uh, there are expectations and accountability to the great tradition and legacies that are here, and uh, we're, we're going to uphold that. Denard Robinson going to stick with you? I believe so. I okay. mean, you know, not what a great young man. You know, I uh, from afar got to watch Denard. Obviously, uh, uh, you don't see a whole lot of uh, different teams play when you're in the season, but had, had a chance to watch him and a terrific athlete and a great football player. But uh, I'm so impressed with him as a person yeah. and uh, how he uh, just lights up a room. And uh, I, I think that uh, he's. He, he wants to be a Wolverine. He wants to get that Michigan education, and uh, we sure do want him here. That's great. Now, let me ask you, I'm going to play a little clip of David Brandon from yesterday's press conference. I want to get your reaction. Here it is. And he didn't spend as much time with a PR machine as others may, and he may not be, you know, he may not be dressed up and polished and the Toastmaster General like other people, and I don't care. I want a football coach. <laughs> David Brandon, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Ray said it. He's a genuine guy. He's not out there trying to carve a, a uh, some kind of an image for himself. I don't think he cares about Q store scores. I don't think he, he necessarily has an objective of being a darling of the media or the bloggers. <laughs> Brady wants to win. He wants to be a great football coach and lead young men and, and help shape their lives and, and help them win championships. And, and I, I love that about Brady, and it's one of the reasons I cho chose him. So, Coach, you're going to be on the cover of GQ or Sports Illustrated first? Well, you know what? Uh, I, this isn't about me. It's about yeah. Michigan, and it's about the kids who wear that winged helmet. It's about the kids in this program. It's about the past and the present and the future of, of Michigan football. And so, uh, believe me, I, I'm very satisfied with uh, – uh, just yeah. uh, working with these kids every day and being around them and helping you know the, uh, teach the life lessons that are so important. That winged helmet's very stylish anyway. We know that. And Brady Hoke, last question. Do you like the new recipe for Domino's Pizza? Well, you know what? Uh, I, I like pizza. I can guarantee you, if you see me, I'm not afraid of it. I promise you that. <laughs> well, David Brand will get you set up, of course, the CEO uh, formerly of Domino's Pizza. Welcome back to Ann Arbor. We look forward to a long, successful relationship. Thank you, Michael. We appreciate it. You bet. That's Brady Hoke and David Brandon from the University of Michigan, 18 after the hour.